Let's draw the Lewis structure for tetrachloromethane, which is CCl4. Now, carbon and chlorine are both non-metals. They come from the right-hand side of this staircase on the periodic table. And when non-metals combine together, they form a molecular compound, which shares electrons from one atom to another. To draw the Lewis structure for a molecular compound, I want you to count the total number of valence electrons that the atoms bring to start. Carbon in group 14 brings four valence electrons with it. Chlorine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons with it, but there are four of them. So that's four sevens and a four. 28 plus four is 32 electrons total. So far, so good. I want you to next draw the central atom and the surrounding atoms and put single bonds between them all to start with. So here's my carbon. I'm gonna single bond it to a Cl there, and a Cl there, and a Cl there, and a Cl there. That's it so far. And I'm gonna add lone pairs to complete the octets of the outer atoms until they are full. Now I already have two, four, six, eight electrons total. Each of these chlorines already has two electrons around it. They want eight to satisfy the octet rule. I just have to be careful I don't go over 32 total. So two, four, six, eight, that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Okay, that's 32 electrons. I'm not gonna be allowed to add any more. If you have extra electrons, which we don't, we're just gonna dump them on the central atom, but we won't. If there's an incomplete octet on the center atom, we'll move lone pairs from the outer atoms into double and triple bonds. But this carbon already has two, four, six, eight valence electrons around it. This is it. I'm done. This is the complete Lewis structure. That's an abrupt end to a beautiful process that I'm glad you joined me on. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.